Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Darius from DariusCooks.tv, and I gotta tell you, I love old school recipes with a new school twist, and that's exactly what I'm doing today. I'm gonna make these amazing five spice crispy pork chops with some Brussels and a little twist on the rice. Let's get started, because I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is prepare the Brussels, because those take the longest. The oven's already preheated, 375 degrees, and all I wanna do with these is cut off the end and then split them down the middle. All right, so we're just gonna put these into a bowl and I just wanna give them a rinse under some cold water. Pretty simple to get started. Let's talk about the seasoning that's gonna happen for the Brussels. First of all, I've got a little bit of soy sauce that I'm gonna put in because this has an Asian twist to it and then a little bit of brown sugar, cause that's gonna make it taste really good. Then, I've also got some fresh garlic. Right in there. Or a little bit of black pepper. A little bit of olive oil. It's gonna go in here, and then, one of my favorites, is a little bit of bacon, cause that's gonna make it taste really good, right? So we'll do a little chop on the bacon, and then we will throw this bacon right in here. In clean hands, we'll get in and we'll toss everything around. The bacon, the garlic, the brown sugar, the soy sauce. And then I'm gonna throw this into a cast iron skillet. Oven's preheated, we'll put this in the oven and uh, let it cook up until the bacon is cooked through and those Brussels are nice and tender. So I've just got some pork chops that have been sitting in a little bit of salt water as a brine. I'm gonna take the pork chops out. I'm just gonna put the pork chops into another bowl and what I wanna do is just season them with some five spice powder, which is great. It has fennel and star anise and a little bit of cinnamon. So we'll put that in there with a little bit of salt. And the idea is to really sort of get in here and massage that seasoning all over those pork chops. And then we'll let these hang out. Let's work on the rice. So I'm just gonna chop down lots of scallion and then lots of really great garlic that we'll put here and we'll chop this up, nice good chops. On the stove, I got a skillet, and uh, let's add some oil to the base of this skillet. All right, and now let's get in there. All of the goodness. All right, now in go the rice. All right, so the rice and the, the scallion and the garlic, they've all been cooking together and it smells really good. That's the whole point, is to really sort of permeate that oil now, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the chicken stock. And uh, the idea is just to let this cook until that liquid evaporates. We'll add a lid, let it continue to go. Well, it looks good. I've got these pork chops and I've got some buttermilk, right? So all the flavors of Asian, but the technique of my grandmother's kitchen, all right? A little buttermilk goes in here. The idea is to just swirl it around so that buttermilk gets in there real nice. Now with the other bowl, what I wanna do is I wanna put in some flour and I'm gonna take the moist pork chops and just dunk them into the flour and coat them. So let's go ahead and fry these three up. All right, we'll shake off the excess and here we go. So after they've had a chance to cook on both sides and get nice and crispy, we will take them out and just put them on paper towel to drain. Now, meanwhile, the rice is cooking up. All the liquid is cooked out of the rice. So I'm gonna cut off the heat. And I'm just gonna add a lid and let it keep cooking. All right, so it's just about time to eat. So what I wanna do is I just wanna chop up a little bit of scallion, how appropriate and get a little scallion chopped. So let's grab that rice with all that good garlic and scallion. In the oven, I've got those Brussels sprouts, right? They've had a chance to caramelize. It's gonna be super amazing. Oh man, look at this. All right, so let me go in for a taste. We're just Brussels sprouts and bacon. What are talking about? Let me see, let me see. Mm, it's so good. Wait a minute, you hear that? Huh? It all goes together. Delicious. A new play on the old school favorite. Give it a try. You're gonna love it. I guarantee you. 
Recipes like this, you know where to find them. Darius Cooks TV. There's two things I want to tell you. Food is my life. Life, it's my food. Until next time, I gotta wish you happy cooking. From my heart to yours. Bye, y'all.